it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Why are you not turning on? <laughs> Welcome back everyone to VGC Dreams. If you guys have been hanging out in the city lately, you'll probably agree that it's quickly transforming into becoming Bonifacio Global Coffee. <laughs> yes, that is correct. With so many coffee shops outside, I believe you are right. And if you guys are a coffee addict, like this one here, you'll probably feel right at home. So before we dive into it, as I mentioned from our Chemex unboxing vlog, I was using a blade grinder. And one thing about blade grinders is that they can be very inconsistent since the process is manual and your coffee grinds can vary from day to day. So I was doing some research and I actually encountered the world of conical burr grinders. Apparently they are more consistent since they are higher quality and more efficient since the process is uh, automated. And I actually found some models that are more affordable. With that being said, let me introduce you to a local model which I recently purchased and received. Welcome to the world of Kappa Espresso. Ta da! Let's go. Okay, ready? Oh, wow. That's what we have. First, I think this is the bean container. And inside the bean container, oh, there are stuff inside. Open it. Oh, a brush. I think this is a brush. Cleaning brush. And next, uh, I think there are, there are holders. Okay, last piece is this, the machine. Look at that machine. It's actually not very heavy. Oh, this is the collection container oh i got it <laughs> yeah. yeah this is the collections container this is where your coffee grinds go and here you can see the conical burr and yeah this one here the timer And um, I guess you can remove this that one. And here in this dial here is where you can change the size of your coffee grinds. So from coarse to fine. So they actually go from 1 to 16, I guess. So here is fine. This is, I believe, for espresso, espresso coffees. And course is for French press but since we are doing a pour over coffee so I would just go to medium course so I'm probably gonna try um, nine or eight between nine or eight all right and those are the parts of the Kappa uh, Kankelberg grinder and right now I'm just gonna set it up because I'm really excited to make my first ever coffee using the Kappa Kankelberg grinder So there are only a few parts, so it's very easy to assemble. So I'm just gonna show you guys uh, just very quick on how to assemble it. So this one goes here and it has to click. Did you hear it? <laughs> so yeah, this is the coffee bean container and this one is the coffee grinds container. Uh, there's a cover here, so I believe you just remove this and turn it like that. And make sure that this is open and just insert it. Ta-da! A 
Okay, so I'm done washing the the parts, and I've already set it up. And well, welcome to my little coffee <laughs> coffee place. <laughs> it's uh, it looks very unorganized for now, but um, I'm already thinking about it. Anyways, uh, let's get to it. Um, I will be using this beans here. We actually got it from Baguio, so it's a local beans. So local beans, and then a local machine. We love locals. <laughs> So let's try it. Uh, I'm just gonna fill this up. Oh, I love the sound of beans. Can I fill it up to the brim? Okay. <laughs> Why am I nervous? <laughs> All right. Okay. So this is plugged in and is on. So, since I will be doing a pour-over coffee, I will just be using cor medium coarse. So, let me try eight. And um, I will be doing that for 20 seconds, maybe. I'm gonna try to make two cups of coffee. So, maybe uh, 20 seconds is enough. <laughs> I'm not really sure, so. I'm just like eyeballing here. I'm just gonna try which one will work. Well, this is my first time using this and um, as I've mentioned from my previous vlog, it was my first time using the Chemex as well. So I'm just really like, you know, trying out like different ratios. Okay, let's do this. So I'm just gonna click this little button here. So the power button. You guys ready? <laughs> Oh no! Guys, as you can see, it doesn't turn on. <laughs> <laughs> I've checked everything. I mean, the power is on. So by the look of it, it looks like this is enough for one cup. So as I said, I wanted to make two cups of coffee. So maybe I will try one more round for 20 seconds. Okay, so one more round for 20 seconds. Okay, there's a second round. There you go. I think this should be enough for um, two cups of coffee. There you go. So it looks like it, it looks coarse grind to me. And yeah, we just gonna try it. Oh my God, the smell of coffee is really addicting. Mm. So I panicked a little bit because the first time I um, turned on the power button, it's not working, it did not do anything. So I tried troubleshooting and all, like turning on and off the switch, it did not do anything. So I contacted uh, Kappa right away via um, Instagram and fortunately they replied right away too. I, 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 I swear they replied like in less than like 20 seconds or 30 seconds. So they sent me um, a troubleshooting video. So what happened was, um, yeah, 
there's this like black button here i actually did not notice it when i was unboxing it and when i was um setting it up so there's this black button here so what you have to do is once you put this container there you have to push it like all the way until you hear the click so that means the the, the black button is um pushed back and it worked so thank you so much um kappa your customer service is amazing and um yeah my problem got resolved right away um boil my water my little kettle here so i just cleaned my chemix filter and now i'm ready to put the coffee grounds look at that <music> like it's done dripping and my coffee is ready Ta -da! look at that okay so as usual i'm gonna use my honey my raw honey here jay's probably not gonna like it, <laughs> Let's do it now. so i'm just gonna use two teaspoons of honey Okay, now that my coffee is ready, I'm just going to discard this. And pour this bad boy here. Ooh, look at that. So I've already added the honey and now I'm just going to pour the coffee. I am really, really excited to try this. I finally have a consistent grind for my coffee after two years. <laughs> and lastly would be my milk. You can add as much as you want, but for our preference, I think that color is enough. Jay's back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm back for my favorite part, the taste testing. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah. Well, it still feels really smooth and clean. I think it's stronger this time. Well, I added five tablespoons. Yeah, but it's very smooth still. Yes. So. Again, I was eyeing medium course, so I put the dial on number eight. And uh, since I was making two cups of coffee, so I put the timer on 40 seconds. Well, I actually used 20 seconds, but I realized that it only makes one cup, so I had to do it twice. So next time, I'm gonna put it on 40 seconds. Yeah, I think this is, even though it's the first try, it's uh, turned out quite well. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, um, it's stronger than last time, as Jenny mentioned. Yeah. Um, 
And that's a good thing, I think, for my own personal preference. And just watching the whole process unfold, um, I think this is probably going to be Jenny's preferred setup moving forward. Oh, absolutely. It's so funny because um, as I was doing the process, it really feels like, you know, I'm in a coffee shop and I'm doing like somebody else's coffee and letting them try it. Yeah, it just it's uh, again, we had quite a scare getting the uh, coffee grinder set up properly. So thank you again to Cuppa uh, customer service. You, they were very excellent and they responded right very away. Fast. They sent you a video, they replied to my email. So thank you guys again. Um, we're actually, now that things are working, we're actually very happy with the product. Uh, the coffee grinder worked really well. Yep. And it's, you know, first try, we don't know what we're doing and <laughs> it already tastes good. So that's a very encouraging start. So thank you guys again. Yes, it's really amazing. Well, thank you so much for watching us and I guess we'll see you again in our next vlog. Gonna go enjoy the rest of this now. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.